User Interface and Navigation. In this video, we are going to explore the user interface, learn how to navigate the software, and adjust the map view. Some of the topics I will cover are panning, zooming, the information button, map options, as well as layer controls. The first thing I'm going to start with is panning. To pan, you can press the screen and move the drawing around. You can also use a mouse if you like. Notice a plus sign shows up as I'm dragging the drawing around the screen. That's my center or focal point, and if I'm interested in a specific area on the drawing, I can move it to that plus sign, release my finger, and then get over to the zoom button. When I press the zoom button, it activates the zoom slider bar, and I can move towards the plus sign to zoom in, or move towards the minus sign to zoom out. If I'm not happy with my zoom location or my view, I can always hit the zoom extents button to reset. I'll then repeat that process. Move to the area of interest and then zoom into that area. The next button I want to show you is the information button. If I select the information button it turns yellow and I can now pick a point that I'm interested in. In this case I'll select this point right here and it lets me know a lot about that point the name, the description, the layer it resides on, the XYZ information that comes from CAD as well as any attribute information that the CAD team felt was important for me to know. This is part of the BIM or the building information model. If I select an area that has multiple points in it, it's going to let me know that I can pick which specific point I was after. In this case I'll select this one and it updates the information here. I'll turn that information button off by deselecting it. The next button is Map Options. Map Options allow me to see more or less information about those points on the drawing and I can fine tune that to what I feel is necessary. I can also change the white background to a black background and I can also force all of the CAD geometry colors to be one blue color with a white background. The last button I want to show you is Layers. The Layer button gives me a list of all the layers that reside in this drawing. I can turn them all off and I can turn them all on very quickly. I can also individually pick layers to turn them off. However, that can be a bit tedious. So we've added a feature in this software where I can go out to the geometry, select it, and it lets me know what layer it's on and takes me to that layer so I can simply unselect that layer and not have to see that geometry. I'll turn the layer off. That concludes the user interface and navigation video.